another series of tech unboxing today's tech unboxing we're going to take a look at this smartwatch over here the smartwatch features it and there we go i always get this message from my iphone whenever i try to do an unboxing it's saying that cannot record video because there is not enough storage to record your video well how many of you guys get a message when you guys trying to take a photo or a video or you're trying to do an unboxing video like me and then this message just pops up I always find it very irritating because I'm trying to do a good video and then this message pops up. I have to clear up space on my iPhone, delete my old videos. In some cases, I don't like to do it because I try to take content from my previous videos, edit it, and then use it for feedback purposes and something like that. So the two solutions which I have for this problem since I'm stuck with the iPhone is that I can upgrade my iCloud storage space, but then it's going to be costing me money. 50 GB is the initial plan they give you, 200 GB is 299 a month, so multiplied by 12 is 36. Same thing for 2 TB, which is good, but then it's going to be more expensive. Another another option is that you can have a upgrade of iPhone. So I have an iPhone 8 Plus, you can upgrade to an iPhone 11 Pro Max or any other phone having a higher capacity and then you can record a video. Or you can go ahead with this solution, which I have right in front of me, which is a flash drive, which is going to be used as a storage device for my iPhone over here. So this flash drive features three functionalities. It has a lightning port, a micro USB port, and a USB port. And then I can transfer my files from my iPhone to this device over here, and then from this device to my computer, and so on. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the unboxing. I'm going to be doing a speed test, and also taking an overview of the app, which is provided on the App Store, such that you can transfer files from your iPhone through the app to this device. So let's open the package up so opening the package you get a card or nothing like a coupon which tells you that once you review this product on Amazon you can get an extra product like that so that is a good bonus so that is the flash drive by itself so I'm going to be taking a closer look of the flash drive so as I told you the flash drive has three ports that's your lightning port towards the left and then slide it over, you have your USB and your micro USB port embedded within. Pretty cool. So it has a cool gold finish and then all the USB ports have a good plastic covering surrounding them. And then you have a button kind of thing which goes along the slider, you slide them up. And then you have your micro USB port which is kind of built in within your USB. So you just snap that open and then you can access your micro USB port. That's a very good function, but I still have no idea why they gave us a micro USB port because it seems useless because most of the phones right now use a USB-C port and not many devices use a micro USB. Okay, the product is portable, handy, small. I could store it in my bag as I'm going away, but then I also want to weigh this product over here. Just trying to take a measurement of the weight product weighs about 11 grams which is good and then I'm going to be taking a look at the installation steps for app on your iPhone so you can install the app by two ways you can follow the QR code provided on the box or you can do it the traditional way by typing in the name of the app on the App Store that's your white disk that's the app which you need just download it from your App Store One, two three four good Okay, so towards the right hand side of the screen, you should be able to see a video showing how to insert that flash drive inside your phone. Once you plug it in, you should be able to see a strong red light towards the lightning port of the flash drive. And now let's take a look at how to transfer files from your phone to the flash drive. So the three dots on the right corner, click on that, click on select, and then the left corner bottom click on that button over there and then you just do copy to USB and then one two three perfect and then you snap to the USB mode and then you will be able to see all the photos perfectly saved now let's take a look at the co close overview of the app you have USB and internal you can switch between either of them each has four sections photos videos music and document if you go onto the file explorer it just shows you the same in, the, in a folder format internal and then you have backup mode where you can backup contacts recover contacts and export photos 
that's also a cool function going on to the settings you can take a look at the overview of the flash drive or by itself so which document occupies which how much of space so it's photos occupy 10 mb videos 5.2 gb that shows you an organization of all the files within your flash drive clicking on the camera function on your left top corner allows you to access the camera from the app itself that's also cool now the write speed of the device so testing the write speed is about 29.86 mb per second not so fast but it's good so i could just take all my files from my phone transfer inside my usb clearing up space and then i could use it for my other video editing and video capturing activities the read speed of the device is about 8.25 mb per second not so good very poor but then the write speed matters a lot for me i probably will just be using this device just for storing files and then let's go on to the computer mode so if you see a strong red light blinking that's basically the flash drive is working and then you should be able to see the write speed the write speed is about 17.10 mb per second again not so good but then the write speed for the iphone mode is really good and then we go on to the read speed the read speed is about 17.29 mb per second so you're going to have a lot of time transferring files from your flash drive onto your computer but then the purpose for me is to just clear space on my iphone using this drive so it's serving the purpose so when you take a look at the files once you copy it to your computer, once you open the flash drive on your computer, you should be able to see that it's organized in folder format. So you have my photos, my videos, which is good. It's very good for people who take videos and vlogging where you have you can organize all your files, which is photos and which is videos. So that's an overview of that. Now, let's go on to the verdict. So it has a big storage capacity because this flash drive over here has different variants of storages. It offers a 8 GB, 16, 32, 64, 128 and 256. The write speed for iPhone seems good, so I'm going to be going along with it. So when I say big storage, good price, it means that 256 GB for $25 is a good price. And then you have a poor read or write speed for computer, which I don't really care. I care about the write speed toward my iPhone. It's 29.8 MB per second when I'm transferring the 8 GB files, so pretty good there. The micro USB connector was a bad choice because most of the devices offer a USB-C, so I would be more happier if they gave a USB-C port the write speed and the read speed for a computer is not so good but then considering the price i would say that i would take a lot of time transferring files from my flash drive onto my computer but then it's doing this purpose of clearing space on my iphone so that i can keep recording videos on the go so what is the final final verdict i have here i would buy it it's a good storage for adding extra storage to iphone so if you have a 64 gb iphone you just add 256 gb for a price of 25 dollars it provides extra storage for your photos, videos, and documents. It's a plug-and-play device. You just have to install the app, and it and the file transfer is extremely easy. You just have to follow the four steps which I showed you, and then the file transfer is done. As simple as that. So I would buy it. It's a good product. Not so good when you want to do extreme fast copying, but then it's a good product overall.